So welcome to this interview session with Crowd1 leaders from all over the world. And today I have the pleasure to have four great leaders with me here today from all parts of the world joining in our conversation on entrepreneurship, social media, and maybe also what is your passion in life. But I will start off with presenting you all. Nina Wen from the Netherlands. And then we have Francine Melli from Cameroon. Yes. And we have Marie-Louise Gomez um, Byron from the Philippines. And we have Serge Kosherin from Russia. So welcome, all of you. Thank you. I, thank you. Thank you. I thought I would start with each of you very briefly, just, you know, giving a short introduction to why you chose Crowd1 and maybe, you know, the road up to Crowd1. So if I start with you, Emma. Yes. Uh, Crowd1 gives me an uh, opportunity to develop myself and I uh, have a uh, chance for a connection with a lot of people around the world. And uh, that's you know, what I'm uh, very happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's a um, key opportunity to do a, a business also. Yes. Mm. I discovered Crowd1 a few months ago now, and it has totally changed my life, mm. and also the life of my family. And today, uh, I'm so proud of this business. Mm. Yes. Well, we'll want to hear more about how it's changed <laughs> your family and your life. And of course, also, uh, Maria Louise. Crowd1 really changed my life in a moment. I've been here for the, uh, Dubai for 11 years, mm -hmm. and I went home nothing, uh, so broke and empty. And when I went home, I met Crowd1 after six, six months, mm -hmm. and then it changed my life in just a moment. Mm -hmm. That's why I, it's really a blessing for me that I met Crowd1. Mm -hmm. That's what I prayed for how many years, mm -hmm. and, and dream come are. true. Here you are. And, and you're president, Star One. Um, Nina, if I have it correct, you're manager, Star yes. One. Francine, you're director, two. Yes. And Serge, you're president, two, Star. So tell us a bit about your choice of Crowd One and a little bit what you did before. Well, actually, I got a like, long, long, long journey on my way on the top of the mountain. And um, I've been in an online business in 2010, online mm -hmm. network mm -hmm. business. And I've done this, looks like, project a bit similar to Crowd One. The ecosystem, internet, shopping, travels, mm -hmm. such things which I wish I thought of would be uh, just at top for the mountain, but never ever saw the top until I met the crowd one. Mm -hmm. And now I know where the top is, and I know the sky is only limits, mm -hmm. why I'm here and why I'm trying to help all, all my people who follow me and who even follow me from different teams, you know, who knows Russian language, mm -hmm. um, to climb with me on this top and then to go to stratosphere. Go to the stars. Mm. This is why here. And it, and it always it, it's always so amazing when I speak to leaders or people within network marketing that it really is a people's business and it really is about carrying your own business, Absolutely. but also facilitating everybody else to also reach their um, stars or success, Absolutely. whatever it might be. But it's also interesting when when I mean at least two of you, like you for example, Francine, you mentioned that it was sort of life changing. So just you know briefly. Tell us a bit about this life-changing moment and what that means. I've been a, an employee for more than 10 years. And I, when I discovered Crowd1, what I've been earning while I was an employee, I've earned that in Crowd1 per 10, per 100. And today I've, have, I've also have a personal goal in this business and today I can help so many people as possible in my area. You know, I'm from Cameroon. Cameroon is one of the most beautiful countries in the world, in Africa, in Central Africa. Mm. And this business is almost helping us to raise so many families in our country and also in Africa. And that's why I believe Kawan is really a gift. And in Cameroon, we call, it, we call him mm. the African dream. The African dream. That's quite a title. And what about you? This sort of change in your life and what yes. Crowd1? Crowd1 changed my life in a moment. And it helped me also. Uh, my dreams is to have this. I can have this uh, millions and I can have this financial freedom because I want to help also people here in abroad. I have a lot of OFW, overseas Filipino workers. They are... Uh, distress 
then I want to help Dean. Uh, I want to motivate Dean. I want to I want to tell them that this company is just a life changing company. So that's why I am here after two years of uh, uh, staying in Philippines. Then in two years, uh, I have the hard work in Crowd One. I work so hard. I, I I went to place from from my uh, place from Davao to another place. I went around Philippines. So I uh, I I earned these millions. Mm. That's why now I can I can I can help also Filipinos in Philippines. I I gave a lot of right during this pandemic. There's a lot of people who are struggled and. Uh, with this only the crowd one is the only uh company that uh the only the only way that i can uh they they are having this uh blessing also from me that's why it's a really blessing for me this company mm. also that sense of contribution to be yes. able to help other people and and it's also interesting because you're all from different um, countries. That implies there are different cultures. So I'm curious just to learn how network marketing is perceived and how it maybe has developed within each of your countries. So um, Nina, if I start with you, I mean you give more of a Europe perspective yes. in the Netherlands. So, so how is network marketing in Crowd One? How is it in sort of in the Netherlands as a uh, business? In the Netherlands, uh, self is a little bit difficult, but I. Uh, uh, bring this opportunity to my uh, community. Almost the uh, Vietnamese, the, uh, mm -hmm. they are living in uh, Europe, mm -hmm. and uh, that gives us uh, opportunity to build the business and make uh, a better of quality of life. Mm -hmm. That is, uh, yeah, that is the nice thing to uh, do with the crowd mm -hmm. business. Mm -hmm. And and so in Russia, I mean, network marketing is is it sort of well established in in that part of the world, and, and how is Crowd One perceived? Um, yeah, uh, but you know, I've got uh, more experience uh, the Eastern uh, Eastern uh, no European style of the mm -hmm. business, English uh, uh, American style, Eric Worre style, you know, because mm -hmm. I'm not typical Russian because I live too much in the UK for many years in the UK. And I want to bring the knowledge of the proper business because in Russia, network business is not uh, quoted as a business. What I want to establish, it's a business way in Russia for the network business. To look differently on this business and to develop differently because it's not about just pass information. It's about to teach people and people to learn and then to grow and then to make money. Money is coming when you're ready. If you're not ready, money never will come to you. And it's also bringing up the fact of education. It's not only Absolutely. educating about being an entrepreneur, but actually educating about the mindset of how you also become a leader and a team player and so forth. And, and, and Francine, out of Cameroon, how is network marketing as a business there in Crowd1? Networking in general is in Cameroon or in Africa is, is not well known. So when you came with an opportunity like this, most of people will take you as a scammer, mm. and they will tell you, this is not real. But I keep telling them, you need to go into the business, you need to search and to see on your own if the business is real or no. And today, I can, with my, with my rank and with what I have earned in this business, I can easily tell them, you are the one, you are the problem. When you know your why, you know your how. And this business has bring me to a level, personal level, that I'm so great today. And I keep telling them, you need to make your research, you need to search before saying it's good or not. Anyway, it's a business, it's all over the world. It's like the changing lives. And if you are not ready to join the business, then you are the problem. Mm. It's not going, it's not moving really faster, but we are working on that. And we are sure in the next uh, few months or in the next few weeks, mm. things will be better and better. 
And it's interesting how you say, if you know your why, you know the way how to do yes. it, and that's that's so true. <laughs> and and, and Marie, Marie Louise, what about you? And sort of just tapping into that, there sometimes also can, can be criticism, which there are in every sector, yeah. of course. But we're now talking about the networking. Um, marketing sector. H how do you approach that, having been two years within Crowd1 and then experience before that? Yes. For me, this uh, networking and networking company is really new for me because this is my first time. <laughs> but I just uh, show it, uh, like uh, sharing it normally to the people. I just talk to people. I just share to them what is problem is all about. In, in Philippines, there's a little bit problem during the time last year. But then I just uh, I just told them just keep going. For me, I did not stop. Really, I did not stop. I maybe just stop for three days like this. I become I become de depressed type because it's really there's a problem. But then the time I really I I told the, I told the people I told my network that this is just uh, like uh, another networking company. We also struggled before mm -hmm. because we are. Uh, I just want you to believe that Crowd1 is a legit company. I just want you to believe that we have an amazing company, a European amazing company, and the best, uh, the best people, the best people at the back of the Crowd1. Mm. It's like that. I just, I, I just told them my, what I am so very confident with what I have now. Mm. Mm. Thank you for sharing. And and Nina, looking if, if there are entrepreneurs out there, both I mean men, women, girls, boys, who really want to come into network marketing and want to sort of understand how it works, what what advice would you give um, to people wanting to come into to the industry? Yeah, when you want to do the business, you have to do with commitment, mm -hmm. and you have to uh, um, do uh, take uh, your responsible to do uh, daily, uh, and and you help. The people around you, and you bring the value to your community, and that is uh, the the good thing. What um, Karawang gives the opportunity to a, a lot of people around the world to start it. And Francine, what would you add to that? What, what advice would you give to people wanting to join the industry? I always tell them uh, when you grow, when you were educated in school. Later, you are not. You don't. You don't always do what you learn in school. So be open-minded. Be open-minded. When someone tells you, introduce to you an opportunity, even if you don't understand, join the opportunity. You will have the time to know about it completely. Yes. And Serge, what 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 would you say to people wanting to join the industry? Yeah, I want to just say, don't be scared, because mm -hmm. uh, imagine in within like 50, 60 years time, when you started now, you're scared, you're shaking, but in some years, you became mature, you know, I wasn't like this, mm -hmm. you wasn't like this. Mm -hmm. We all started from the nothing, from zero, we all been on the same ground, don't be scared, and what I want to tell two networkers, guys, your time is past, new networkers coming, mm -hmm. new blood, new guys, and just it, you, I want to tell to everyone who will watch it, just do it. Just do it because the sky is the only limit for you. And, and looking um, sort of at a daily basis of, of how you actually work on a daily basis to sort of paint the picture of, you know, having a company and being a leader. And is it sort of you have Zoom calls, it's educational packaging, how do people u utilize the platform? Um, Francine, if I start with you, yes. what does a day-to-day -day business yes. look like? First of all, I would like to, to tell you that I discovered the Zoom for Crowd1. Because when I joined Crowd1, I was going uh, from town to town, from area to areas, doing physical presentation, doing one-to-one -one presentation. And then later when the COVID came, we were obliged to stay at home, to work mm -hmm. at home. So that is, it is on that time I discovered the Zoom meeting. So I learned about it. and. I duplicate what I learned to my partners. So most of the time, we are working on Zoom, on Zoom calls. When it's possible, we can work, we can meet in a room, even in a group of five, tens, and work physically. But most of the times, we work on Zoom, on Zoom calls, with our uplines, 
the total of lines we have, uh, Jean-Michel and Patrice, and they taught, of, taught us about those methods. Mm -hmm. And today, that's what we're duplicating to our members. Mm -hmm. The Zoom meeting, the physical conference, the one-to-one -one, um, presentation, mm -hmm. yes, and at time, uh, phone calls, we're doing phoning, mm -hmm. yes, and social media also. Exactly, and I think that's also quite important to highlight that it is, I mean, COVID came and it became struggling for many industries, but for this industry, going totally digital was a real success, and it also enables it for everyone to be able to actually participate. So that's, that's interesting. And speaking of social media, yes. how, how do you all utilize social media, or what sort of marketing communications do you utilize if I start with you, Nina? Yeah, I use fa uh, Facebook. I uh, post... Uh about Cloud One, give uh, people the uh, opportunity to join uh, Cloud One and give uh, the information about uh, mm -hmm. the company. When people uh, in contact with me, then I uh, make an appointment with them through the Zoom, mm -hmm. and then I can show them how to uh, make a business mm -hmm. and how to uh, join uh, Cloud One. And uh, some of them, I go personal to them uh, home to get training. Mm -hmm. And Serge, uh, how oh. do you utilize? <laughs> yeah, it's a quite funny things. I, I actually prefer all school network mm. marketing. So I prefer three-way calls. I prefer live event because we're building from event to event. But in modern time, we need to use the social networking. But what I don't like what people doing in social networking, they post everything about business. And in a networking, people join people. They're not join company because they're company. Some people, yes, mm. but it's a very small amount. Mm. Means it's my advice to people, don't put like 90% about business. Put 20% about business and 80% about yourself. But be nice, like lady sitting here with nice dress, you know, nice makeups and everything else. It's a lifestyle. If you're showing lifestyle, and then you're talking about business, you're showing the business, you say, oh, wow, this is a lifestyle, this is a business, wow, two, two plus two equals four. You know, it's quite easy, facts tell, stories tell. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Fact sales. No, and it, it's, it's a good point. It's a valid point that when you use social, like, social media, it's also, of course, a professional vehicle, but it can also be personalized by showcasing, you know, how you live and work, which is also part of this interview series mm -hmm. to sort of really understand how you work with the business. And, and what about you, Louise? Uh, just like I agree with him because I really did not post uh, a lot about Crowd1. I just put my, I just post every day my lifestyle the way I dress, I bought my own cars in uh, in a cash. I have my resort and my all my lifestyle, all all that I have bought in from Crowd One uh, earnings. So I just put it day to day uh, in the Facebook. And at the same time, at, at first of course, uh, when I joined Crowd One, I I recruit, I I invite a lot of people, and then they are really rejecting me. Because uh, rejection is always my breakfast. That's why it's okay. <laughs> it's okay for me. So now all these people, I have two accounts in Facebook. All these people in my uh, friends list, they are already asking me, what is Crowd1? What is mm. Crowd1? It's all about, can I join Crowd1? I told them, I'm sorry, I'm busy. Go to my downline. Mm. Yeah. So lifestyle is the only way to... Uh, mm. To, to convey to, to, to connect them that uh, Crowd1 is the best company mm -hmm. that they have to join. They have to join Crowd1 because might be their life will change in mm -hmm. a moment. So that's why. And I'd like to tie into that just to get your perspectives because when we speak about, you know, lifestyle, how, what is success to you? If I start with you, Nina, what, what is success? Is yeah, it just... I, I have uh, developed myself, but I uh, work with my team to get, uh, make it better. Yeah. Okay. And Francine? Personal growth. Personal growth. Yes, work on my, develop my knowledge and always duplicate with my, mm. my team. Mm. Yes. So pay forward mentality in yes. a sense. And Success for me is like I am, I, um, I already, this helping people that I make them very happy in my heart that's success for me. Mm. Yeah, I am the blessing of others. I will be the blessings of <laughs> others. That is the meaning of success to me. Peace of mind and happiness of the other people that I, I, I was able to, I, I was able to help them. Mm. 
answer. Uh, my job success is quite different in different time zones. You know, mm -hmm. when I was younger, I remember maybe to remember I was Ferrari, mm -hmm. or nice house, or mm -hmm. nice traveling. But now I'm thinking the peace inside of you and love and help that you're doing outside of you to your people, to your business, to your team, to your relatives and everybody else around you is most important mm -hmm. for me. And, and just one thing I wanted to know, because, I, I mean, when everything goes well, we're all happy and we have balance and, and all of that. But, but how do you, as leaders, I mean, one, you need a source of inspiration yourself when you're getting to a higher peer. And also, how do you, you know, address challenges? Because that's also how you address them is also how your downline will, will look to you. Um, Francine, you, for example, <laughs> the traits of a leader. You know, we, every day we face challenges. Yeah. And I turn the challenges into motivation. Mm. One of my biggest challenges was my kids. Yes. I was not able to, able to feed them. Mm. So it was my responsibility to give them food every day. Mm. It was my responsibility to give them the best they need. So I need to work hard for that. And in my environment, I have so many people who are facing those challenges. People will come and tell you, oh, this is, this is difficult, this is difficult. Everything is difficult. If you cannot find a solution, means you are the problem. Mm. I remember my kids spent two days without eating. So one day I decided not to see that anymore. It will stop. Mm. And today, I'm working for, for that. And God sent us count one, the opportunity I needed. And today, it has become, uh, for me, today my, my aim is to put on most as possible faces smile. Because yesterday, I didn't have that smile. Mm. Yes. yes. You want to give what you didn't have. Yes. So each time I have a challenge, I transform it into my motivation. Until success, mm. yes. Take a challenge and transform it into a motivation. What about you, Nina? Um, well, I, well, I do the uh, extra Zoom training with my team to learn together, mm. find a solution, a solution together, mm. and that uh, also help each other to grow in the business. Mm. That's good, showing vulnerability mm. so that you can all learn of how to also take a challenge and make it into a motivation. Sure. And you too, what about you? How do you sort of address or face challenges? The, the most challenging moment for me is when I went home from Dubai here. For 11 years, I worked so hard here. I have this very good uh, company. I have a very good uh, job and a very good salary. And then I have this uh, war, uh, business. Mm. I established a business in Dubai, but then I born out after 11 years, then I went home. I went home with nothing. I have only like 1,000 dirhams in my pocket. Then the most challenging moment for me, I don't have this car to drive. Then I came in Philippines. I don't have this uh, money for, the, mm. for my groceries. It's like that. So I told myself, uh, I will work. But if I will work, I am a teacher by profession. I am a licensed teacher in Philippines. I work in a government before. And then I told myself, I can come back to work because our president have these chances to give us this job. Then if I will come back to my to that work in a government as a teacher, mm -hmm. that's the time that I will forget my dreams. So that is the most challenging moment for me to survive, but I don't have capital. I want to have business, but I don't have capital. But just, I prayed to God. Mm. I, told my, I told to God, Lord, give me this opportunity that it will change my life, that I will not come back to Dubai anymore for work. So that <laughs> is the most challenging for me. Then, after two days, God answered my prayer. He sent me this proud one. Mm. Only that... people... Only people we have that mm. this is very lucky, but because I have this only 6,000 pesos, mm. I have. That's why I become 001 in Davao. Then 
I worked so hard because I told myself I will buy that car. That the, uh, when I saw this Fortuner, I will all this. I will buy that car. So it's about having a state yes. of mindset and, and really looking to what you and want, yes, having a vision. And everything going yeah. on, everything okay. is uh, successful yeah. with Crowd One. Yeah. I have this all everything because of Crowd One and mm. because of also mm. the Lord. Have, having yeah. having having faith is 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 an important fact both in your business or if you have anything yes. any religious faith. And what about you, Serge? No, I don't have any challenges except to be better <laughs> next day, you know. Be better next day. <laughs> but I got one challenge two years ago when me and I looking for the company, for the right company, and thank Jonas and Anthony, which brought us to Sweden, show us the company. We got like 10 or 13 hours spent to mm. utilize everything. And uh, I remember on the eight hour, I just we said, Alan, yeah, this is business which we want to do. Because the most important thing is uh, in the business is reputation. And sometimes you're doing wrong things and your reputation going down. And very hard to go up. People ask me how many people I brought into the business. I said, I got the previous team was 270,000. Mm. Uh, somebody guessed like 1,000, somebody guessed like a million, whatever, whatever yeah, they guessed. And I said, well, oh, no, only six people. Only six people, and I'm now president to start and be going to the president's restart of 15% less. Mm. That's it. This was the worst challenge for us, to make the right choice. Making it easy. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, just as a quick conclusion, looking in the crystal bowl two years from now, because, you know, speed is, is so quick now, what do you see in vision with Crowd1 and where you are now in two years? Where do you see the company or yourself? I mean, if I start with yeah. you, just short. I think about two years, Crowd1 is... Uh, uh, the word that everyone in the world will say it and remember it mm -hmm. and bring a lot of uh, opportunities, a lot of people to make their life better. Awesome. Yes, as I said before, in Africa, this is our dream. And this is a business which is going to raise up, raise up us, up, up. Uh, pardon? This raise business us up. is going to raise us up. So we believe stronger in this business. Mm. Mm. And I'm sure we are going. We have so many dreams, and mm. all those dreams are going to be achieved through this business. And shortly, I think two years from now, of course, the time I will become ambassador already, and then I help a lot of people. And then this crowd one, according to Sir Jonas Eric Werner, have these billions of members. Yeah. So this would be a better lifestyle, better. Uh, place better, better life mm. of the people in the whole world. Humanity. Yes. Sure. Mm. I think the crowd one that became like uh, 3D Facebook, and we will have <laughs> more than 2 billion people, mm. maybe 3 billion people, because it's 2.7 billion people playing games. Mm. Yeah. Why we cannot make the 3 billion people in a planet IX mm -hmm. or in a crowd? Because crowd one, it's an engine. And what we will use, what, what sort of the functionality we will have, what sort of games we will have, like mm -hmm. Planet IX, it's, oh, wow, it's total changing everything life, uh, mm -hmm. everything life concept, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think it will be like some uh, Mars or whatever. Maybe we'll make uh, some sort of planet, <laughs> planet Mars IX, whatever. <laughs> Lots of different stuff. It's just, you know, it just, if you're dreaming, dreams big. You know, I think our company dream is so much, big, sometimes mm. so big, and even I cannot <laughs> reach it enough sometimes. But that's also the slogan of the company, as I understand it. Impossible is nothing. And I, with that mindset, you know, the impossible does become possible. Thank you so much for being the Thank role you. models that you, you are. You. you know, we need role models also for, for young girls. Um, of course, also men are role models for oh, young like girls, you <laughs> but it's, it's good to show the empowerment and thank you for everything that you do and the best of luck going forward. Thank you, and of thank course, you. thank you to all of our viewers for watching. I hope it was inspirational and join us next time for a new interview session with new Crowd1 leaders. Thank you for watching. Um.